all right so welcome to this video in this particular video we are going to talk about another tableau tips and tricks how to toggle between the meshes so here i will demonstrate the techniques for all the skill levels that allows you to toggle anything in tableau if you are new to this software and trying to provide an amazing user experience or you are an expert looking for a more advanced analysis there are practical applications for everyone in this particular discussion in the end what we are going to see is so this is the dashboard here you can see it's showing me the sales by state and the top 10 states with the highest sales and when i click on this button you can see it's showing me the profit and it is also showing me the top 10 states by highest profit so i just click on these two options of sales and profit and you will get the output so basically a button which will change the values of the charts so very intuitive very interesting very powerful we'll see that hands on practically in this particular session so let's get straight into it the data set which we are going to use is a sample superstore data set and here we are having the state column we have the sales column and we have the profit column as well so we'll connect this data set with tableau and we'll proceed further i'll connect to excel and here i'll choose the data set which we have so here we have connected to the data and i will choose the orders data here i'll go to sheet one the very first thing which i will do is i'll create the map chart i'll drag the state and i have to put sales or profit so what i'll do i'll create a logic first of all and then we'll proceed further I don't want to drag this field directly. However, I want to create a new field which will have the logic using the help of parameter and then we'll pass that value in this particular chart. So the very first thing which I will do is I'll create a parameter which is a Boolean parameter. I'll choose the data type as Boolean. Let's give the name as toggle parameter. And I'll call this parameter here. So we have two options. I'll create a calculated field where I'll say toggle logic. Here I'll apply double if if condition if the toggle parameter is equal to true. Then I want to show sales value else the profit value so basically if it is true if the parameter value is true then sales will come in else profit will come in so i click ok and drag this field in the color so as it is true it is showing me the sales value when i change this to false you can see the value is getting changed and showing me the profit values now what i'll do is i'll go ahead and create one more chart which will showing me the bar chart let's say i am dragging the toggle logic by the states and i'll sort the data calling the parameter here as well so when i am when i am choosing true it is going to give me the sales value else it is going to give me the profit value i'll apply the filter for top 10 states by the toggle logic so these are the top 10 states so this is my map chart and this is my bar chart now the next is i'll create the button the very first thing which i'll do is i'll go ahead and create one logic again using the same parameter so i'll create a calculated field button logic if toggle parameter is equal to true then show the false else show the true so basically here i am saying if the parameter value is true give the false else true and i click ok I'll select the shapes here and drag this button logic in the shape. 
So you can see it's coming as true because the parameter value is actually false. When I make it as true, this will become false. And what do you want? When your parameter value is true, that means sales will come in because that is the logic which we have written here. When the parameter is true, that is sales. That means when the parameter is true, this false button should be coming as sales button. So when you download Tableau, you will get the Tableau repository. Here you have the shapes and here I have put one folder my shapes and here I put these two buttons, sales and profit buttons. So I'm going to use this button for my uh, doing the toggle in this chart. So I'll drag this button. So I click on the shape and I'll call the button here, my shapes. It is false. False means your parameter value is true and the par parameter value is true means it is sales. So I'll make this as sales. Same way, I'll go and change to false. Then I'll change, I'll get this true. Double click and I'll change the shape to profit. I'll increase the size here and let's make it entire view. So you can see this coming in profit. So when your parameter is true, that means your button logic is becoming false. Sales will come in because when your parameter is true, you have set that sales value should come. That is what we have written in this toggle logic. So now button is also ready with us. I'll go and create the dashboard and here I'll put my map chart. I'll drag my bar chart. I don't want this parameter. Instead, I want the button. So I'll have, let's say the floating and I'll drag this button. Hide the title. We can place it better. For example, I want a blank tiled and I'll put this button inside that. I'll try to adjust the shapes here. I'll increase the shape of this sales. So I'll increase the size so that it will be a bit bigger and it will be coming here clearly. So this is looking good. And I'll drag this bar chart above this. As of now, when I click, nothing will happen because I have to apply the parameter as well. So I'll go ahead and go to dashboard actions. The first parameter action I'll apply where I'll say when I click on the button on select, I want to hit this toggle parameter and hit this button logic and click OK. So now when I click here, you can see profit is coming in. When I click sales, sales is coming in. One problem here is when I'm clicking this, you can see it's basically I have to double click to select the value. So to take care of that, I'll go and apply one more action, which is action filter. I'll choose the button again. And here I'll choose the button sheet on select menu, show all values. And now when I click on profit, profit will come in when I click on sales sales will come in. I don't have to double click on that. So that is how you can create this intuitive, beautiful dashboard with the click of a button. You can change the measures. And again, you can create any number of buttons, any number of sheets can be tagged and so on. Very powerful stuff. I hope this makes sense. We'll see you in the next advanced tips and tricks. Till then, take care.